Most of the athletes from the Olympic Training Center in Chula Vista are already in London, but some are still in town and will be on board the Midway for the opening ceremony event. Scott McGaugh is the marketing director for the USS Midway Museum. Scott, thanks so much for being here. My pleasure. Tell us about this event. It's free and it's open to the public. It is. Uh, gates open tomorrow night, Friday at 6.30 p.m. And it really is something we think for the entire community of San Diego to celebrate and honor San Diegans and others who will be representing our country in the Olympics. And there are a lot of other activities besides the televised uh, ceremonies, go I mean, besides just the televised ceremony. Going yes, on. in addition to the large, uh, two large screen TVs that we'll have on the flight deck, uh, we're honored to have the BMX Olympic team will be with us tomorrow night. They haven't left for London yet, uh, so we'll have the entire team here. Uh, we will have archers who train at the center conducting demonstrations. We will have the Paralympian soccer team uh, doing juggling contests with kids, a variety of Olympic activities for families. And this is video of the uh, BMX riders. It's very exciting. Uh, it, it is. It's fast moving and exciting. And they're actually going to be um, signing autographs. Yes, they're going to be uh, uh, interacting with the crowd, signing autographs, taking photos with the kids. We're also going to have, thanks to the Olympic Training Center, an authentic Olympic torch where you'll be able to hold it maybe with a BMX athlete and get your photo taken. Oh, that's exciting. Tell us about, there's some other exciting stuff, well, maybe not for some, but the food definitely is going to have a British flair. Well, you know, you can't have an Olympic event uh, without uh, going uh, native, if you will. So uh, our Fantel Cafe is owned by a company that actually has been a, a caterer at previous Olympics. Uh, so they have a great deal of expertise, and they're going to be bringing British fare uh, to the flight deck board midway. Uh, Bangers and Mash is probably going to make its first ever appearance uh, on, the, on the flight deck of the USS Midway. <laughs> Which is, for those who don't know, sausage, mashed potatoes. And mashed potatoes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Uh, and and our, our uh, beverage service will probably have some libations that are more akin to British pubs uh, than what we see here. We really want to make it something of an immersive uh, activity for the entire family, uh, really uh, suitable for all ages. Right, absolutely. You said there is going to be. So it's for children. You recommend that people bring some long chairs and yes. uh, lightweight jackets, but tell us about parking. Uh, parking will be available, uh, paid parking uh, on the pier. The port operates uh, the, the parking lot, so parking will be available uh, on a paid basis on the pier. We always recommend public transportation. We're within walking distance of, of Amtrak and, and the trolley stations, and, and for events like this that we put together as a community resource for San Diego, this is an opportunity that you can bring a lightweight lawn chair, a blanket, because it gets a little bit cool. Right. Uh, it's an outdoor picnic uh, on a gorgeous July night on the flight deck. Well, we don't have a whole lot of time. I just wanted to ask, we're expe you're expecting probably over a thousand people. Yes. Why do this on the Midway? Well, you know, in a way, uh, it's, it's an opportunity for San Diego to celebrate the Olympics. And in a sense, you know, thousands of young men served our, our country in uniform uh, aboard Midway. And today we have athletes serving their country in a different kind of uniform on the athletic field. What better place to honor their dedication uh, to our country than on the flight deck of the USS Midway? Patriotic event. All Absolutely. right, Scott McGaugh, thank you so much for talking with us. My pleasure.